Lisa Edwards, yeah. welcome to Noise11.com and the third album is finally here. <laughs> Snap. <laughs> Hi, Paul. <laughs> Hi to all your listeners. Thank you. Thank you for having me on. This is, as I say, the third album. The first one in uh, 1993, second one 2005. Uh, how old are you going to be by the time the fourth album comes out? Oh, I'll... I'll pass on. I'll pass away on stage. I think. Um, I just love. I just love singing. I love music. It's my passion, of course. Um, it's all. It's what I've done all my life, and um, it's how I'll finish up. I think. <laughs> so I'm. I'm really happy with the outcome of this album, and uh, and collaboration with Michael Cristiano who's been a long time um, friend and wonderful musician. He's a, he's a, a master at all his crafts. And um, we wrote many of the songs. We wrote nine of the 10 songs uh, of the original songs on this album. But uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm so happy with the, with the outcome of this. And uh, I love it. There's sort of two parts to this record, isn't there? Because there's the bookends that open and close the record, which aren't your songs, and then there's yeah, yeah. whole bit in the middle, uh, which is you really speaking to the audience uh, with your own words and music. Yes, um, it's quite raw. Uh, the very first song that uh, we started writing with was Broken, and uh, that was in my lounge room many years ago. We've actually been recording this album over a few years. And um, <laughs> um, sadly for, for our audiences at our live gigs, you know, they kept saying, when's your album coming out? When's your album coming out? And it would be next year or it would be six months down the track. And then um, Michael and I just sort of sat there and we were going, we don't want to rush this because... Um, not only were we enjoying what we were doing, we were putting our love and our passion for music into it, but it, we wanted it to be right for, for ourselves as well. And as I said, we've got to live with it for the rest of our lives. But um, it, it was just, it, it, was a, it, it wasn't a long procedure. It was just how it happened along the way. The songs are very raw. They're very... Uh, you can relate to them. They're relatable. So anybody that listens to each song, um, you know, can take, can draw something from it in their own lives, you know. I think some one, one friend of mine said, oh, you've written the next wedding song. <laughs> so, and I'm not sure which one he meant, but um, uh, there, is a, there is a song that mentions a wedding in there. And um, I wrote a song, well, we wrote a song, for my daughter Madison and uh, Maddie, who's my right arm at the moment, with uh, can, you, helping me with this. Zone You're a technical engineer. Well, I'm not tech savvy. I, I know I know enough, but um, yeah, it just keeps you know getting newer and newer and newer and all these things. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? Because you're talking about yourself, your daughter, your mother, uh, like uh, three incredible generations there, which really fits the theme of uh, I'm still yeah. a woman. Well, of course, the first track on it is I Am Woman. Um, I just felt it was a very strong theme, and I Am Woman, obviously written by our very own Helen Reddy and another Australian musician, Ray Burton. Um, coincidentally, it was written and released in May of 1971, and the release of this album was May of 2021. And uh, that's just coincidental. But I'm, although the uh, I Am Woman had a, a political, you know, veil, um, which it was, you know, became, um, Helen Reddy's version became renowned for, um, putting the political essence aside, I'm, with my version, which is very upbeat, very funky, um, it's a celebration for women and, you know, their strengths. We've gone through the la last year, you know, there's a lot of mental health them, and it's just about self-preservation, strength moving forward. And um, so I'm, and I'm not 
you know, I'm, and it's for women over 50. I'm not 20 anymore. I'm over 50 and I'm proud to say that I am. Um, and I've still got a lot of get up and go in me. Um, hence that I'm not giving up in my, my uh, performances or my recordings. And um, I'm Still the Woman was written by an American Grammy Award winning um, producer, musician, songwriter called Randy Goodrum. And he happened to be in Australia oh, so many years ago while John was recording in the studio. And I was there that day and I sat down with him. And I, in fact, I was um, in the throes of putting uh, Through the Hoop, which the album Cry came from. And I asked him, I said, do you have any songs to, to submit? You know, I'm looking for some songs. And um, he he. Um, continued with asking me questions about my life, my career, about myself. And uh, I thought, this is strange. Anyway, he went a few weeks later, I received a cassette. So it was in the days of cassettes. <laughs> and I still have a lot of cassettes. Um, and this song, this uh, I'm Still the Woman, was on this cassette. And I just res yeah, I just re it resonated with me and it can I connected to it. I loved it. I loved it. And I wanted it to be on my previous albums, but it didn't happen. And so it waited this long to be on this album and be the title track of the album, I'm Still the Woman. Mm. Well, Michael Cristiano, who you're talking about there, uh, is not only the producer of the record, but also has worked directly with you in uh, crafting, writing these songs. Uh, yes, of course. Um, in fact, he had a couple of songs that he submitted um, that he had written, you know, with the, with this album in mind that weren't finished. And so I, you know, um, we got together and I would take a couple of things away with me and I'd um, write a few more things. But I just love being in the studio. We were in the studio for days at a time, layer upon layer upon layer of of vocals. Um, I my I have a huge passion for harmonies, um, which is a natural thing for me. Even as a young girl, if I heard a song, um, I would never sing the melody. I always sang the harmony, and it came naturally. Um, and I think that's that's how my love for for harmonies and and obviously being a backup singer as well. Um, look, whether it's in the back, on the side, or in the front, I'm a, I'm a singer. <laughs> and um, but I just happen to have a gift of harmonies that came naturally, and uh, so I've enjoyed my 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 path thus far, and it's not over yet. <laughs> I want, to, I want to ask you about the harmonies because, uh, the, like, like, there's beauty in these harmonies uh, that I really haven't heard uh, vocals like this since Bee Gees records. It's incredible stuff. I just love harmonies and there were, there were layer upon layer and every time we'd start something, we'd hear something different. In fact, you know, with, one, with a song how it started out and how it finished are two different things. And, uh, and we've got both, you know, so it's, uh, yeah, it was pretty incredible. And I just love it. I love being in the studio. And uh, the lovely thing about Michael is that he gave me artistic license to be me and create. And uh, that's, that's what I did. You know, I think we went overboard sometimes. But um, no, it was beautiful, and how it finished off was uh, was great. Yeah. Well, there's there's the album. We should uh, give that a bit of a plug again. Um, I'm still a woman. Mine's not, mine, mine is signed. I've signed <laughs> to Lisa from Lisa. <laughs> yeah. No, I had to I had to sign some. So I should autograph this one for you to uh, to Lisa from Paul. I would love that. Well, not, not on yours. That's your copy. So one day we'll 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 uh, get together and uh, you can sign my copy. Sure. The <laughs> um, the CD for uh, people from around the year two thousand, Spotify for the younger audience, and for the older people who haven't worked out CD yet, if you send Lisa your fax number, she'll fax you the lyrics. <laughs> 
Okay. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Paul. Thanks, Lisa.